I opened up my fridge to realize my girlfriend took the last Celsius, so I'm stuck with one of these little girly Alani new things, I guess. It's gonna have to do because it's early and I need caffeine, so. Not bad. Well guys, welcome back to another video. I bet you're a little shocked by the title and thumbnail because not too long ago, I just posted a video of my new 2021 Mustang GT. And now just about five months later, I am showing you my new 2023 Tacoma. This is a 2023 TRD off-road. I am sorry if the wind is blowing out the mic. I actually forgot my external microphone, so we're just gonna have to work with what we got. But if you guys weren't aware, I've actually been a Tacoma fan for a really long time. But if you remember a few years ago, I bought my 2020 GTI. And even back then, I was always interested in Tacomas. But whenever I went to buying a new car, I always told myself like oh I need something like quick and loud so I kind of always just push the Tacoma idea off to the side I know a lot about them and I'm very familiar with them now because I watched videos like I said for the past year so I knew like exactly what I wanted the packages and all that stuff and this was also a little bit of a shock to me too because I wasn't personally ready to buy a new car right now I had just gotten the Mustang and, and making content with that but one day I just got the random urge to call Toyota and see if they had any TRD off-roads in stock because as you guys know they're not an easy truck to get right now um, there's like markups everywhere on them you can't even find them on the lot without a deposit already on them but they just so happened to have this exact one like every package i wanted on the lot ready to go no one had a deposit on it or anything so honestly it kind of just felt right and i kind of just jumped on it and i am 110 percent happy that i did i'm absolutely in love with this truck so the only thing i have done to this truck so far was i put a rough country soft trifle cover on i put that on right away because i'm parking this thing out in the snow and stuff the bed would just like fill up with snow and melt all over the garage I and mean, like groceries and everything so I wanted to get that covered right away so that's the only thing I've done to it so far I did go a cheaper route because I do end up wanting to get like a diamond back cover or some like bed rails or something like that so this is just kind of temporary but like I said this thing is like a hundred percent spec out how I wanted a Tacoma uh, which is why I kind of pulled the trigger so fast and didn't put a whole lot of thought into it because I've already put thought into it the past years so yeah let's grab the spec sheet and we'll go over like all the factory options and everything so first off we have the advanced technology package which gives you the blind spot monitor the rear parking sonar, the 360 camera, the front camera, which also includes the color match rear bumper covers, which was a big plus for me. I know you can buy those aftermarket, but they're kind of a pain to install, so having the factory covers already on there and paint matched is pretty nice. We also have the premium audio and navigation package. Um, now this is the premium audio and not the JBL system, so don't get those two mixed up. I'm not like a thousand percent sure what the premium audio has over the base audio, but it does come with navigation and everything, which I probably won't use because, you know, Apple CarPlay is a thing, but I guess it's a nice feature to have if I need it. So the LED headlights and fog lights, this is probably my favorite package on the whole truck, and this is like the only one I really wanted out of all of them. I think the factory OEM LED lights look so good with like the sequential turn signals and stuff. It just, it looks awesome. And yeah, you can buy aftermarket LED lights as well, but it's kind of nice having these pre-installed and under factory warranty and to me the OEM is the best looking out of all the aftermarket ones and I probably will be changing out the fog lights to some yellow ones in the future but it's kind of cool to have right now and they look really good on the truck and we have the all-weather floor mats and door sill protectors uh, pretty small add-on and definitely something you could buy later on just from like Amazon but the OEM weather mats are pretty nice and it's a nice plus to have these little door sill protectors as well we also have the blackout emblems so we got like so all of like the Tacoma and 4x4 emblems are are all blacked out and we also have the tailgate insert um, which are these letters right here again some super cheap but it's cool just to already have it done another one of my favorites is the bed lighting kit it's something i think every truck should already come with and it shouldn't really be an add-on but either way i have it now so it's nice and you can change it just to like always on or only come on when the door opens so having all that wired up in factory is cool too so obviously this thing isn't like fully 100 percent optioned out like i didn't get the premium or the leather seats or heated seats that's actually a plus for me because i don't like leather seats and I never used heated when I had them before. And I actually do prefer the look of the cloth seats over the leather, so. Well guys, there she is, my 2023 Tacoma TRD Off-Road. So I do actually have a bunch of mods sitting at the house right now. Some super simple ones and some pretty cool ones. Just haven't done them yet because obviously, as you can see, it's it's been snowing and raining and it's just, it's terrible right now. So yes, I did sell my 2021 Mustang GT and my 2021 Ram 1500. Um, I sold both of them for this Tacoma, which I will explain in a later video if you guys would like. There was just multiple reasons and I am 100% happy with my decision. Now there wasn't anything wrong with the Mustang, there wasn't anything wrong with the Ram. A bunch of like pros and cons kind of piled up and led me to this. So if you guys would like, I can make a small video later on and explain all that because honestly that Mustang did not last very long at all. But anyways guys, I'm gonna end the video here. I need to get some pictures of this thing because I've had it for a few weeks now and I have like no content on it. So I'm gonna get some pictures, get some thumbnails and but yeah, I miss the Mustang like crazy, but I mean, 
I mean, I've had Mustangs before and it was nothing new and this is just like, it's so new for me, the off-roading stuff. And yeah, I'm just, I'm super pumped on it. So I hope you guys are too. Yeah, we're gonna start cracking down on mods for this thing. So if you guys are ready for that, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.